Is at Wharton Fieldhouse. Now, Moly not the only team trying to win a state championship today. In Class 1A, Scales Mount making it back-to-back -back state appearances right here at the State Farm Center. They were looking for their first ever state championship as they took on Jabot in the 1A title game. Scales Mount looking for their first state title as they play Jabot. Tough start for the Hornets as they fall behind as Hudson Blank hits the jumper in the lane. The Hawks out to a 19-5 lead after one. Second quarter, Scales Mound comes alive, working it down low to Dylan Slavenberg with the points in the paint, and they're down 10. Then it's time for Thomas Haro, the junior, starting to make things happen, driving and getting the old-fashioned three-point play. It's 19-12. The comeback continues. Haro stepping outside. He'll drain the three, and the Hornets are within five. More heroics from Haro as they kick it out to him. Another three will drop. He scores 16 in the quarter. Scales Mound down two at the break. Third quarter, it gets interesting. Charlie Weagle dialing it up from distance. Hornets in front. It's their first lead of the game. Jabot has an answer. Caden Augustine connecting from deep. Hawks back in front, 31-29. Scales Mound regains the lead off this Hero three from the top of the key, 37-36. We go to the fourth. The Hawks take control. Gavin Kessler getting to the rim and scoring. Jabot score, outscores Scales Mound 20-6 in the final stanza. Scales Mound making some history with their second place finish falling 65-45. It means a lot to not just me, but everyone. The community that's here, they brought, everyone came, a lot of people, and it's a four hour drive. So them to be here watching us and just our teammates supporting us, it's an awesome feeling. And to add to it, the group from last year, to represent them too, it's awesome. To even surpass last year's team, uh, they're still good, but we just ended up going farther. It was just awesome, you know, just to be able to represent Scales Mound one more time. It, it just means the world. It feels great, really, just seeing all the green out there, all the Hornet fans, it's just amazing. See, I was here last year, but I was out with an ACL, so I still had the experience, but not the experience I had this year, so it was really crazy. For us to finish second place and uh, be able to play our last game at the farthest level, it just means a lot to us. Uh, players and our whole community. And to get back to the state finals and then to play in the championship game and finish second to an excellent Jabot team. You know, just proud of these kids for the work they put in. You know, proud of our community for the work that they put in, in the last 10 years. And just to see this thing continue to grow, um, it's just been a blessing. So congratulations to Scales Mount on their best ever finish, a state runner-up finish, and the cupboard's not bare up there. They return an all-stater Thomas Haro next year, so maybe look for them right back here again for the third straight year next season. And of course, one more reminder, your Moline Maroons are state champions. Get out to Wharton Fieldhouse. You can, it opens up tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Between 1.30 and 2, they're expected to arrive. Buses are going right to Wharton Fieldhouse, and the celebration will be on. And, of course, we'll have you covered right here on WQAD. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.